to share with you something that I do. Now, I tell people all the time that I donate a lot of things to the thrift store. I want you to see firsthand some of the items that I donate. I get a lot of product reviews every single day. I donate hundreds of dollars to the thrift store a month. And I want to show you what I'm giving today because this is just a small sample of the things. Everything I give is new, brand new. These are items that I just did a product review on. The item on below here, this item right there is almost $150. Beautiful items, but you just I just can't deal with all of it. And I really don't want to have so much stuff in my home. So I'm going to put this in a bag and take this to the thrift store. I give all kinds of things and they're so happy for it because lots of times people give things that were very used and it's nice to have some new things at a thrift store. All right, I wanna go in my house and make sure I have everything for this week. I always keep a bag right at my door. That way all through the week, if I find something that I'm not gonna use, I donate it to the thrift store. And this is MCC. Mennonite Central Committee that all of the proceeds go to helping others around the world and in our own hometown. All right, let me see you guys in just a little bit. All about quality, not quantity. So there's gonna be fewer items but they're going to be items that will have more of a distinct idea to them. In other words, I'm not just buying something because it's cheap. But I paid $3.50 for this half gallon vintage canning jar. Take a look. Isn't it pretty? It has the glass dome lid. I'm actually going to be working on something to decorate my home with this. I just love it. I, it doesn't say anything on it. It doesn't say ball or anything on it. I don't know how old it is, but I know it is vintage. It's with their vintage items. So I'm going to be working on this in just a minute. So I paid $3.50 for this. For $0.75, cents, I got these tags. And they are of the very old doily craft white. So they have the white and they're scalloped and then they have the craft paper that's the brown which I love so we'll put that with my tags and I'll use that for upcoming things then I got these vintage these are vintage clothespins for two dollars and fifty cents and for free clothespin craft ideas please send name and address and it shows it I doubt if they're in business anymore but we have these clothespins. Look at the old images on them. I just love the deco art and I just love the images back from years ago. And then we got one other thing. And this is vintage as well. And the reason why I say it's vintage is it is older. This is shelf paper. Very, very pretty. It smells really, really old. I don't know if you know what vinyl, old vinyl smells like, but I paid 25 cents for it because most people wouldn't want it. But I love things that are original. So I love the original. I love that. But not least, I got something free. So I was sitting here blabbing away and then I realized my camera wasn't on. <laughs> How many times do I do that? Before I plant my onions, I have to go into the craft room and I have to organize it and get everything fixed up because I just put everything out there and I tend to do that. So I'm gonna go organize that and then we are going to plant the garlic that Rose gave and also I am going to plant some spinach. Then I wanna show you quick because I know some people watch my videos just for the Thrifty Thursday, but I did wanna show you this really quick because I got this free and I washed it and it looks so nice. So this is what I got for free, and I washed it. People know me, know I love crocheted items. I love knitted and crocheted items. 
and they were getting rid of this. They were going to throw it out. They had it out for free and I grabbed it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in our bedroom and then I'm going to finish my work. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I got to change the battery to my camera. That way my camera doesn't go dead again. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to finish this up. So it's beautiful day today. It's not quite as hot. And I love days like this when I can get so much work done. All right, I'm gonna take you in here and show you what it looks like. So what you're seeing is a large table full of stuff that needs to get put away. Yes, it needs to be put away. We got product reviews and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna go ahead, speed up the camera because you don't want a 20 minute video of this. Or maybe you do. <laughs> and put all this stuff away. subscriber named Rose gave me a whole bunch of Egyptian walking onions and I love to have some of them so what I'm doing is I'm planting them all in a cluster together that way I know what they are and I'm also gonna put a little marker there just to remind me because we're at the end of the year and I sure don't want to rototill over them so thank you so much Rose for your beautiful gift to me it's a gift that's gonna last a lifetime Oh, and by the way, there's no need to say anything about me not wearing shoes. I don't like wearing shoes. In fact, I don't think I hardly ever wear shoes. Even in the wintertime, I hate wearing shoes. Mm -hmm.